light is always within reach. Even You look well. And just like that. My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow outlander. Yes. And apparently this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? For the Warrack. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. Now I see. The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Brother and sister? This is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures, and I'll put a quick end to this mockery. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah. I suppose you do. So why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. I'm not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. It's bold, I'll give you that. Going after your own brother. He gave me no choice. He thinks I'm a child to be shoved to the back of the hunt. He would forbid me from my destiny. And yet, part of me did it knowing he would forgive me, eventually. He always does. Family drama aside, what's this challenge meant to be anyway? You and Aratok will hunt machines at the Frost Figures. The victor will be the fastest. It won't be easy. Nothing about this has been so far. When you meet us at the starting point, I'll tell you more. It will be simpler to explain from the base of the hills. Araya, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's drum. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I... underestimated you. And Aratok. I won't make that mistake again. I'll see you at the Frost Figures, then. So, off to risk my life in order to take charge of the new hunting band. Just what I always wanted. None of the southern tribes rival the Lucas. Some escape.
Outlander. I have prevailed over such challenges before, and fear none. But this one is foolish. You are not Banuk. You do not understand my responsibilities. I ask you, one hunter to another, withdraw. Will you let us go to Thunderstrom? You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander. I will not risk my sister's life again. Then we better get on with this. So be it! I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground! Annette! Let us begin! To hunt! To strive! That is the way of the Banuk and of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Your hunt will take you around the ridge to the center, where you must descend to the valley for your final kill. Each time, after your prey has fallen, you must launch a beacon such as this so that all our kin will see your progress. Kill machines, launch balloons. Got it. So, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Well, yes. Now this challenger, your path to victory is harder. If even one of your beacons comes in after Eratox, he prevails. <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. The hunt begins on my mark. Head up that mountain. It looks like there are a few ways to go up. The most rock paintings mark the path. Okay, up we go. Wasting. I seem to be on the right path. Up the herd below every machine. Kill a herd, okay.
got your marker! Alright, here we go. Now climb the ridge and launch your balloon! Haratok knows what he's doing. No time to waste. Take the rappel point to the next challenge. Two Bellowbacks ahead, Challenger. Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. All right, two dead Bellowbacks. Now take the zip line and work your way down to the valley. You can't stay here. You need to get down to the valley for the last challenge. Storm's kicking up. Can't see much. Close now. Almost down. All right, it's the last challenge. Something's wrong. My kin should be here, driving in our final quarry.
So it's true. Frostclaws from Thunder's Drum. The attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void. You saw what she did. She defeat the machines, not I. It is proven she is the better hunter. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? My blood is in your teeth. I take my place behind you on the hunt. No more hunters may make the ascent to Thunder's Drum. The way is closed to all but the chieftain and myself. It is not my place, but I would ask a boon to accompany you and my sister. It might be permitted. But only if you do as I say. No. Only if you do as I say. Thunder's drum awaits. There's a camp at its base, Long Notch it's called. Meet us there when you're ready. Chieftain. Outfit. Chieftain gets the chieftain's gear. Farjo will want to take a look at the ice rail.
Nina. The tall neck lives again. Perhaps the blue light has not abandoned us after all. Oh, the winters are coming at once. We should not pile his father's guilt into the new project he was showing us. These are different times. The songs are more than just stories. To sing is to perform a ritual. Outlander. It would be my honor to speak with you. I've heard of you, Antress. Each of the many verses of your song tells of an impossible victory. The notes echo across the cut. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. That I know. My song used to echo around Banur. Omnak, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the Claws Beneath, or they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip, my bones ache, Huntress. But you, out hunting Aratak, leading your own Werak, if half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuka custom? Perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail, until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived. A Banu hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the claws than to die while it still makes children orphans. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banu is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands. Noticed, for the first time, the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance. But to stare forward at a looming wall. This machine, the claws beneath. Why travel all the way to the cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain. The return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing before. Must have been twenty winters past. We were so close to bringing the claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. We? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Werak then. A skilled hunter. Every few years the claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt... I had hoped to complete it in his honor. This is... obviously important to you, Umnak. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? Well, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. All right, Umnok. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the claws beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Hunt well.
Find anything interesting lately? I might have. Let's talk. I've got a nice rail, just like our talks. You want to take a look? Uh, are you serious? Y yes, yes, I'd love that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Obvious design flaw. So if I replace these, yeah, that should... <sighs> right, so believe it or not, she's operating at, let's be generous, half her potential. What's with the she's? Oh, Pop says all weapons are girls. I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. Uh, well, listen, if we had a Thunderjaw's mandibles to work with, her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one, if you want to go hunting with me. Remind me what we need to fix up this thing? That Thunderjaw's mandibles will do it. So, a Thunderjaw hunt. They seem pretty rare up here. Not that I'm complaining. That's why we should get out of the cut for a while. Hunt one in the valley meet. I'll wait for you out there. Easier for me to work with parts before the metal goes cold. Is Bergrin going to be okay with this? Eh. If we can handle a Thunderjaw, we can handle Pop. Sure feels good to be out of knee-deep snow. So, we've got a thunder job. I'm ready to do this. On your lead.
Marja should be able to fix up the ice rail. Found the part. Ready to fix up that weapon? I am always ready to fix up a weapon. Never thought I'd be glad to see the inside of a Thunderjaw's mouth. I sure am. Every machine's a big box of tools. Once they stop trying to kill you, that is. Trust me, Aloy. You won't recognize this ice rail when I'm through. There. Oh, she's perfect. A spear's a spear, right? Poke slash done. Boring. I adjusted the chill water flow, rebalanced here, strapped on a launcher, and now she shoots freezing spikes. Ta-da! You weren't kidding. More beautiful, more powerful. That's my guarantee. Thanks, Varja. These three weapons are fine work. Are you kidding? I can't remember when I had this much fun. I should be thanking you. I'm the one walking away with the weapons, aren't I? Seems wrong to charge you for giving me an opportunity to do what I love doing. Don't tell Pop I said that. Here, whenever I tinker with weapons, I go through fistfuls of this stuff. Maybe you'll get some use out of it. Edge of the cut. Umnak said I'd find the claws beneath nearby. <laughs> 